For a courtroom TV show that has dominated daytime since 1998, the case decided April 15th on Judge Judy was hardly memorable. A building contractor who repaired a ceiling was suing the homeowner for an unpaid $500 bill. Judge Judith Scheinlin, who instantly smelled a rat, probed the defendant's rambling excuses and delivered a swift verdict. Pay your bills, she told the stunned homeowner. Judgment for the plaintiff, and that's all. We're finished. Thank you very much. It's a moment that would be familiar to anyone who's watched the Emmy-winning phenomenon. Which is to say, just about anyone. But as the courtroom cleared and the set went dark, history was made. The contractor's case, running Tuesday, marks the last of more than 12, 500 taped by Scheinlin during 25 years in the spotlight. Judge Judy's final season on CBS ends September 10. As family members joined with her to celebrate, producers had a surprise. They played a video tribute with cameos by Jimmy Kimmel, Whoopi Goldberg, Ryan Seacrest, Kelly Ripa, Joy Behar, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, Meghan McCain and Wendy Williams. All showered praise on a woman who worked for more than two decades as a family court judge and prosecutor, reinvented herself at age 52 and went on to a brilliant second act. As staff members said their heartfelt goodbyes, the judge herself was uncharacteristically soft-spoken. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, Scheinlin told them via video conference, set up as part of the show's COVID-19 safety protocols. I feel so blessed that you've given me the benefit of your talents over all these years, and changed the dynamic of me, my family and friends forever. An era had ended. But if you think her honor is slowing down, think again. The woman who cracks that her only hobby is work will unveil a new courtroom program, exclusively on Amazon's free streaming service IMDb TV, later this year. Looking back, she reflected on her improbable rise to the top. Let me start by thanking the two people who actually started my journey, she told her staff. Josh Getlin and Heidi Evans. In fall 1992, I was a national features writer for The Times, based in New York City. I'd begun a series about hardworking Americans who shook the bureaucratic cage with little or no success, but kept tilting at windmills. There would be four profiles, and the idea for the first one came from my wife, Heidi, a reporter for the New York Daily News. She'd written a series about the state's deteriorating juvenile justice system that summer, and she marveled at Scheinlin, a fiery, 5-foot 2-inch force of nature in Manhattan's family court. Fed up with lazy colleagues and political correctness, the judge called the bureaucracy a disaster that didn't protect the public against violent young criminals. Shirley MacLaine will play her in a movie someday, Heidi said. Intrigued, I called Scheinlin to ask if I might write a profile about her. She agreed. 